and one person who's not sitting is Carol. What is your message to people like that this morning? Is that your position now? I'm BBC Breakfast. I take that all day. BBC Breakfast. Join us on the BBC Breakfast Show. Seat in the Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Karishma Viswani. The headlines. Novak Djokovic has been deported from Australia after judges rejected the unvaccinated tennis star's appeal to stay in the country. We'll be live with our correspondent at Dubai Airport, where Djokovic is due to land very shortly, and in Melbourne to gauge the mood amongst fans as the Open begins. Also on the program, the man who took four people hostage at a synagogue in Texas is confirmed to be a 44-year-old British citizen. Now UK police make two arrests in Manchester. Surveillance flights head to the Pacific Island nation of Tonga to assess the damage caused by a volcanic eruption and tsunami. And in the UK, opposition leader Keir Starmer says Boris Johnson broke the law and lied over lockdown parties in Downing Street and that the PM should resign in the national interest. Live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday. It's 9 in the morning in Singapore, noon in Melbourne and 5 a.m. in Dubai, where in the next 20 minutes or so, Novak Djokovic is expected to touch down following his deportation from Australia. A panel of judges upheld the Australian government's decision that his refusal to be vaccinated against COVID-19 made him a threat to public health. The Serbian Prime Minister has accused Australia of a witch hunt. Meanwhile, back in Melbourne, the Australian Open is now underway without its defending men's champion. From there, Shaima Khalil reports. 